As you guys see right here, the glitch works perfectly fine. It's insanely OP. That's right, guys. Not only does the mansion glitch still work, but there's a way to glitch the Volt Bike and Jetpack to make them as OP as they previously were before they got revamped. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Just so you guys know, the like goal will be 50 likes. Let's see if you can break this like goal, please, and thank you. The first glitch I'm going to be showing is known as the OG Jetpack glitch. Fun fact. This glitch was found a month ago by my friend Dark Multi, so huge shout out to him. Now back to the jetpack glitch, you're obviously going to need a jetpack. Once you have that jetpack, you want to head to a building of your choice. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using the radio tower here. Once you found your building, you want to jetpack up there and stand at the edge. Now to actually perform the glitch, you're going to need to jump off the building and immediately press spacebar again. As you can see, the delay was entirely skipped to the jetpack, making this a very fast way to actually activate it. The reason this is so OP is because if a cop was chasing you and you used the jetpack normally, you would have most likely been arrested due to the long delay of the jetpack starting. On the other hand, if a cop was chasing you, you could get on a very short building and use this glitch to instantly skip the delay and get away from the cop a lot more easier. Like I said earlier, this glitch works in any building. If you guys want to step this up a bit more, you can actually jump and roll on top of any hill and activate the jetpack to skip the delay. Which technically means that this glitch works anywhere except for a flat surface or a road. Not only that, it also makes it a lot more useful so that you don't have to get on top of a building to actually do the glitch. Once again, huge shout out to Dark Multi, and without further ado, let's move on to the second glitch. So for the second glitch, we have the Mansion Door glitch, which a few of you guys have been commenting on my video that it has been patched, but it still works. Alright, so the first step to actually do this glitch is to go to any gun store of your choice and get this one gun. You want to get a revolver and only a revolver. The revolver is the main damage dealer that will act as the killing weapon for the CEO because it's the fastest at doing so. The reason we don't want to bring out Rocket Launcher is because rockets won't damage NPCs because a CMO patched that glitch. Once you got a revolver, head straight to mansion, and just like last time, you're gonna need a friend or an alt for this glitch, as well as an invite. Once you get another person, get inside the elevator, go through the obby, and activate the cutscene. Once the cutscene is over, get your alt or friend at the door. Previously, you were able to go straight under the ledge to do the glitch, but now, there is a barrier blocking you from doing so. Despite Bademo's attempt to patch the glitch, you can still do it with a few minor differences. First, you want to hug the barrier and get close to the door. Once your friend slash alt is in position, pull out your revolver and start shooting the CEO at the head. As you can see, using the revolver to kill the CEO is much faster than using AR guns. Once the CEO is dead, have your friend slash alt stay until you get teleported outside, and yeah, that's pretty much how you can still do the mansion door glitch even after the patch. Huge shout out to Gizmo for helping me out with the glitch, and without further ado, let's move on to the third and final glitch. Before we move on, if you guys are enjoying the video and haven't yet please make sure to leave a like and subscribe as it helps out the channel a ton and i'm trying to hit 2500 subscribers before the end of august and i can't do it without your help please and thank you for the third and final glitch we have the og volt bike glitch this glitch allows you to ride a new volt bike with the same properties as the og one allowing it to scale hills easily and lose control a ton making this an insanely op glitch to use to actually use this glitch you're going to need a volt bike and a jetpack and once you have your jetpack spawn the volt bike and exit the vehicle lastly you want to use the jetpack and get inside the volt bike while you're still flying this then triggers the glitch allowing you to easily go over hills and other obstacles that you previously couldn't do before making it insanely OP for the criminal team as the cops literally can't pit you. Don't worry though you can actually cancel this glitch or remove it by just simply exiting the vehicle. And yeah it's pretty much three useful glitches to use that not many people know about. If you found any of these glitches useful or just interesting to know let me know in the comments below and please make sure you like and subscribe and yeah thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.